hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will make the mobile inputs work okay for that you will have to open up your car controller script and as you know that right here we have an option to play this game on keyboard or else on the mobile buttons okay so now we're gonna play it on the mobile buttons in order to make it work on mobile it is pretty simple as you know that right here to this uh, vertical and horizontal we pass the values from keyboard buttons okay when we make uh, the vertical one the car moves forward and when we make it uh, minus one the car moves backward okay so we're gonna do the same for the mobile inputs for that right here above uh, or right down below the update method create a new one by the name of move input and in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna say vertical equals to input and actually this method will uh, require a float by the name of input okay so now whatever value we provide to this input it gonna go store inside the vertical so if we provide one to it then this vertical will be one and the car will move forward and if this is minus one then the vertical will be minus one and the car will move backward okay and now i will show you how we can uh, uh, assign a value to this parameter so right here click on this acceleration and right here we're gonna add a new component which is event trigger okay and when you add that click on this add new event type and let's add pointer down and then click on plus sign okay and in here as you know that our car 3 is currently selected so I'm gonna drag and drop my car 3 in there and then from the car controller script we're gonna select the move input okay now as you can see we need to provide a, a value to the parameter okay this is this parameter okay input so we're gonna pass one to it okay when we uh, pointer down means that when we touch this button it gonna make the input one and the car will move forward okay now let's add another event and that will be pointer up so now when we uh, move our finger up okay we're gonna pass zero to it because we then don't want the car to move so that's why we're gonna pass zero to it okay so now if we play the game okay and let's click on it okay so nothing happens and the reason behind this is because if we select our car 3 as you can see our car 3 control type is still keyboard so we need to change this to button and when you change it to button let's play it again now and you can also guys go ahead and test this on your mobile phone okay now as you can see the car is moving forward and when we remove our uh, click as you can see the car will stop moving for now as you can see our break and reverse doesn't work so now let's set that up click on reverse okay so we did it for acceleration click on reverse add the event trigger okay let me remove it and let let's add it for you guys back again okay so add event trigger click on add new event type let's add pointer down click on plus drag and drop car 3 and select the move input this time we're gonna pass minus one to it since on this one we want the car to break and also to go in reverse okay now let's add pointer up and to in pointer up we're gonna just simply pass zero okay now if we play the game again as you can see the car moves and the car break as well and also the car can go in reverse as well Okay, so that works now let's focus up on the steering so for steering uh, we're gonna copy this method paste it and let's change this to steering input and this time instead of vertical we're gonna change horizontal okay now let's get back right here click on steering right let's add event trigger add a new event 
pointer down drag and drop car 3 in there and select the steering input pass 1 to it then let's add pointer up and in the pointer up we're gonna pass 0 okay and for the steering left let's add even trigger let's add pointer down and pointer up now in the pointer down we're gonna drag and drop car 3 and select the steering input this time pass minus 1 because we want to move to the left side and in the pointer up click plus drag and drop the car 3 and from the car controller select steering input and pass 0 to it okay so now if we play the game again you can see the car is changing the tires okay if we move we move to the left side move to the right side as you can see if we move in reverse as you can see we can move okay to wherever we want so you can guys go ahead and check this on your mobile phone as well if you don't know how to do that go ahead and download uh, unity remote from your play store or app store okay uh, download and install it in your phone and then click on file build settings okay and if you are an Android user, it will show your device right here. Okay, you can select your device from there. And if you are an iOS user, okay, uh, for the iOS, you will have to download iTunes as well. Okay, I will make a video on that in the upcoming videos. Okay, I will show you how you can test your games on mobile phones. Okay, so if you still want to test it go ahead and watch our other uh, racing game videos i have tested the games on that one okay so you will learn how you can test it on mobile phone anyways with this done let's end this video right here